pottery peeps. So we have a kiln to unload today and nothing gets me out of bed faster on a Sunday than knowing I have a kiln to unload. Most of the stuff in here is mine and uh, Nightcraft Co. All the cute little hedgehogs are in here and I can't wait to see them. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, we're a little warm, but not too bad. I do miss firing in Sorsha, my scut, because it tells me the temperature. <laughs> bad Morta, it's what you get, it's what, you know, if it's too hot, it's too hot. It's all by feel. So um, she's my Crest Kiln that um, is a cone sitter and uh, um, a little temperamental and kind of showing her wear, but she's still holding in there. All right, a lot of this, actually all of this is mine and Nightcraft Co. She's got a show coming up. Plus we also have the studio sale coming up here um, on, um, I think it's the May 27th. So I'll put more details about that as we get closer. So these are Nightcraft Co. She's made them so that they can hang. Very nice. She's done it with underglazes, stroking coats, and this is the speckled cottontail stroking coat. She also does this really, really awesome technique where she's marbling the glaze when she's doing it. Um, I need to talk her into showing how she does this, if she's willing to sit down and do it. If you follow follow her on Instagram, she does a lot of reels and videos and stuff on Instagram um, under Nightcraft Co. Um, but this is a, a really cool technique that she's playing with. She wants chip and dip bowls looking like planets. I think she more than achieved that. This is also hers on the um, Terra Red. Love that Terra Red. She's, uh, we made a stamp. I've got a 3D printer. My husband actually, he wanted the 3D printer and the way he talked me into buying it was he could make all the stamps for the studio. So we're taking him up on that. <laughs> and this is uh, Clay, or um, yes, Clayscapes Arctic Blue. One of my favorite combinations or favorite glazes on this Terra Red. She also, this is her dragon egg mugs. I love, it takes hours to push in the detail there. Um, she does a lot with Midnight Ceramics, their glazes. And so I don't know the names of these. I will get with her and uh, type them up on the screen for you. But she's got two of those, beautiful. Okay, I just have to gush. This is so lightweight. It's a big mug. It probably holds 16, possibly even 18 ounces. It's a very big mug, but super, super lightweight. So, so happy for her. So proud. Oh, I'm just so proud of them. This goes to one of the planters in here. And um, she's been doing these star planters that are getting a lot of attention. They've got a um, drain hole in the bottom. And she'll have stuff inside here to finish those. Ooh, looking good so far. Okay, this is looking sweet. <laughs> Where do I start? Okay, another, she's got a couple of these mugs in here with the um, Arctic Blue. She's got some writer mugs. She's doing a writer's conference. And I'm not sure. We didn't know if they would run or not, so we set them up on cookies. Because I only have so many of the advancer shelves, so I am actually get anxious when we're putting stuff on these shelves. Again, I will get with her on the combo on this, because I'm not sure what she's done. Ooh, I like this one. Love. I'm a fan of color. If you haven't figured that out by my hair alone, I like color. But these are very pretty. This one is the Coastal Blue on the B-Mix. Very nice. That's really cool. Love the runs. Love that oil spot type of look. 
Okay, so more planters. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just unloading. Um, I believe this is the lavender by Emico. Ooh, we're getting some heat now that we're getting in there. All right, let's see some of these hedgehogs. I did fire them on stilts because I glazed the whole thing. I just dumped the whole thing. I put raspberry mist on the nose and then the ears on this one. And this is the speckled buff with opulence eggshell for the glaze. Just one dip. Isn't it cute? And I believe this one was done the same way. Super cute. Another one of her planters. Um, this one is the Malibu Barbara in the Midnight Ceramics. Okay, I got some pigs here. Don't know if I care for this one. You'll have to let me know. Raspberry Mist and I aren't the best of friends. I need to find a really good pink. The Raspberry Mist to me looks kind of plastic. I did put it over the Winter Woods, hoping it would run, but it didn't. Um, and this is on the Speckled Buff. And sometimes if you've got a groggy or clay, you don't get as many runs. If you've got a very smooth clay like the Terra Red or the B-Mix, um, you get more runs. But it's the clay itself, the grog, kind of holds glaze, um, doesn't let it run. And so I might actually add some flux to this to kind of tone down. Uh, you'll have to let me know because that's just too pink, too fuchsia, too plastic pink. But he's going to get a cork. He's a bank. He's going to get a cork in his mouth. All right, this is more my style. This is also the speckled buff. And I did uh, winter woods and then aurora green. And I dipped the top of him in Norse blue. So he got kind of a, a bunch of stuff. But I love the spots, especially the spots on his ear. And I will do some pictures. We'll do a photo shoot after so that you can get a better... I get better lighting in the studio with all those windows. This is Lavender Mist over Winter Woods on the Speckled Buff. And then this one is, oh, interesting. This is Frosted Lemon. We got a yellow pig. But on the Speckled Buff, it went a little darker, more yellow brown. Isn't he cute? <laughs> I'm having fun making these hedgehogs and pigs. I actually have some more in the studio drying out. You could say I'm going hog wild. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Okay, so fun. All right, so these guys have two of them in Norse blue, just Norse blue on the speckled buff, I think. I can't remember. I think it's speckled buff um, because I did three different clay bodies on these guys. So I'm not, I, I do believe this is the speckled buff. You can get the, yeah, I just, I fired them all on stilts, but you can't even, I don't even have to grind this guy off. This is one that's gonna just go into the flower bed or a little flower pot. This one I'll have to grind. This is the Coastal Blue. Um, this is the little rat. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Another one with the Coastal Blue. Yeah, this, I, you just can't. It's beautiful. Look at this little cute little butt. <laughs> I will take pictures of them so you can see. But, how cute. Apparently I say cute a lot, but adorable, cute. So this one is the Terra Red, I believe. And I did the um, Opulence Eggshell 
I wanted the browns to come out and I got it. Cute. But <laughs> there's cute again. But seriously, cute. And this one was done uh, with the lavender mist and the um, winter woods on the speckled buff. I'm really surprised they didn't run more, which has got to be because they were done on the speckled buff. So this is Norse Blue Winter Woods. So this is on the Terra Red. Interesting. It's very much more purple. Um, it's Winter Woods. Really like that, actually. Winter Woods with the Lavender Mist. And that Lavender Mist, I got to try that a lot more on the Terra Red because that's pretty. And this one, Norse Blue Winter Woods. And then I do believe this is my last hedgehog in here. And then this one is the Coastal Blue on the B-Mix. All right, so this goes with those planters for Nightcraft Co. Let me, I bet you she's got a blue one in there, but I'll show you kind of what they're looking like. This one doesn't fit this, or maybe it does. I don't know how she's setting them up. Go check out her Instagram. She's gonna do a photo shoot today too. And chances are her photo shoot will look a lot better in mine because she's a lot more tech savvy. Another mug with, I think it's stone denim on the Terra Red. That's nice too. This is the speckled um, buff and it's just frosted lemon. And I put, I think I put some coastal blue on the outside. I uh, didn't do very much, but it's still pretty. I like all the specks showing up. And then this is one with um, Norse Blue on the speckled. All right, so here's, this is the tray for the planter that probably goes with that pink one I just showed you. It turned out really nice. And then she's got some mugs in here that go with these ones. Kind of like a, you know, a saucer, cup and saucer. But I think they're gonna be super popular. Here's another one. She's got them in various colors. And then this is on the B mix, little artichoke dip um, casserole dish. This is, oh yeah. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Uh, this is not Norse Blue. This is um, Sea Spray by Opulence. This is the Frosted Lemon with Sea Spray by Opulence. Look at the difference in the clay body. This is on the B-Mix. This is on the Speckled. But still, both very, very nice. Okay, more of the planters for the stars. The clouds and the stars. She's got a few of these, like I said. She got a lot of people wanting them. Oh, good. We got. Hold on a second. I got a stilt. So, this is how the mugs go. Isn't that cool? Such a creative idea. Students are so stinking creative. Another rainbow. A little trivet, or you can hang it. Another dragon mug. This one's actually even bigger than the other one. Boy, yummy cappuccino mug. 
or soup mug. Ooh, French onion soup. I love a good French onion soup. Okay, so these are some, these are all bee mix with transfers either from Alon Transfers or Sandbao. And this is the Coastal Blue on these. Oh, apparently these are pears, because here's another, <laughs> there's two of each of these. All right. So I don't know what she did on this, but I gotta find out. That's pretty, look at that. That is so pretty. And here's another one. That one's pretty too. Didn't quite get as many purples, but I love the smoky quality of it. Misty, smoky quality. All right, looks like I got some runs. Of course I did, and they're mine. So, should be able to grind that off. This is a hand-built mug, and um, I got coastal blue on the inside. I did shadow blue on the tail and on the bottom. And then I did swipes of seaweed. But um, the rolling pin is from Vermont Pottery Works and it is a mermaid. So it turned out pretty cool. Need to try this again. Definitely need to grind that off. <laughs> But I would have totally lost that if it, um, another one, I got two of these in here. Ooh, this one is worse. Ooh. Ah, this might be worse. Sometimes when I get a mess like this, I fire the mug again upside down. So obviously I think my shadow blue is, shadow blue is kind of a runner. But then I added the, I probably took the seaweed down too far. <laughs> Probably, most likely. This one's got a mermaid tail handle and mermaids in here. So, definitely gonna try this again. I might consider firing it upside down. So, okay, so the bottom shelf is all Nightcraft Co. She's got more of these, more of these. So I'm just gonna lift them out since I've already showed them to you. She does these with celadons and stroking coats. And here's a blue one. Of course, that way. This would just make you happy having coffee in the morning out of one of these. You know, just put a smile on your face right away. All right. And then, this probably doesn't fit this one. There's another blue one over there. But just to, like I said, check her out. She's gonna have a photo shoot later today on Instagram. And I will write her Instagram in the description. Ooh, these are pretty. So she hand paints with stroke and coats on the speckled buff, these feathers. How pretty. Nice, good job, Mickey. Man, she's gonna be happy. One of the reasons I started the YouTube channel was so my students could see their stuff <laughs> without having to come to the studio. Some of my students are close, but some of them aren't. Some of them, one's an hour away. Anyway, so, very fun. All right, so now it's time to sand them and clean them up and get them ready for their photo shoot. All right, that's it for me um, on this video. If I were to have some favorites, it'd probably be these guys. I love the Aurora Green black crystals that give this little piggy some spots. And I love the purple on this cute little hedgehog. And of course, Mickey's stuff turned out amazing. So like I said, check her out. Um, she does some amazing work. 
and we will see you in the next video. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We have a lot of fun here.